Okay, I'm going to do a swing evaluation here for Michelle Wee. First, I'll point out some things I notice here for her setup. Um, she really does, you know, squat quite a bit here. She has quite a bit of knee flex here. Um, if you look on the face-on view, her her legs, or I'm sorry, her knees are a little bit of bowed out, especially this one. So that tells you right away that she's trying to keep a real stable lower body and really not too concerned with that being you know, very free throughout the swing. And as you go to pull her back here, when I put a line on both her knees, this is kind of a bad angle, but we'll try to make do with it. You notice that the right knee really doesn't back up any. And you do see the left knee push out a little bit here. It's kind of hard to see with the line, so let me get rid of it. We'll watch that again. And that right knee really keeps its flex, which is going to prevent the hips from really turning a lot. And... You know, this one's going out about you know a good amount there or a proper amount I should say but it's kind of not balancing each other for instance her left knees pushing out more than her right knees backing up but that's going to be able to keep her lower body very stable and give her a good chance to stay in posture and keep on this rear line um, one other thing I notice about her setup is she has an, it's a pretty straight line from her belt up her back to the top of her head and what that can do is put a lot of pressure here in the lower part of your back you know the lower part of your back is going to kind of be like a C and it looks like she's you know trying a little bit too hard to get into a perfect posture there um, be better just to kind of let go of some of that tension now as she goes to pull back if you watch her hands her lower body stays real quiet and her takeaway is mainly just done with her hands, kind of just hinging the club uh, and kind of picking it up there, not really getting a good push off her left arm. But, you know, this this uh, young lady is a very nice player, and I'm actually a big fan of hers. So it's just the way that she goes about it. Um, now, we'll go ahead and swing her to the top here with her driver. She does a good job of staying down into the shot, not coming up with it. One thing that you see that's unique with her, and this probably has a little bit to do with the angle, that club's uh, laid off. Um, you know, it's not in line with her hands or crossing the line this way. Reminds me a little bit of Sergio there, where it's behind her hands. Now here, one thing that she does really well as she's coming back, um, again, very stable lower body, gets a pretty uh, quick set on the wrist here, but nothing too abrupt. But her transition is really, really good. And let me show you what I mean. I've marked a line here on her left hip. And I've marked a line right there on her right thumb. So this is kind of the apex of where her hip is going to be starting to move forward. And if you notice, she really starts getting weight shifted to the left side as her hands are still coming back. That's really going to be able to... Uh, for her to be able to unwind from her core, let her hands just follow with that and, you know, create a lot of power and also get a proper sequence coming down into the shot. Um, right here, one thing that's a little odd, you can see her left heels kind of coming off the ground. It's not really planted. It kind of gets airborne there as she pushes in. There might be a little bit of weight, too much weight on this outer toe, but, uh, yeah, I love the way that she allows her body to freely go here and then let her hands just kind of follow that action. The sequence down is going to be quite easy to accomplish and that's why you see from this angle uh, she's really getting into some good positions with a nice amount of lag. Again, really good into the hitting zone where the club's still good behind her. But another thing I'd like to see, uh, or that I believe she's doing really well here, is foot's not spinning out. Um, it's in a pretty good position here. Heels coming a little bit off the ground. And you can see the weight starting to get to the outside now here, which is good. But this is really good what she's done here, um, especially with a short to mid iron where her shoulder, her hip, her knee, and her foot are all in one line. That's going to really allow her to cover the ball well. You can see she has really good uh, shaft angle ahead of the ball there. That way she can get a good descending blow. And then she goes to release. This is a very, very nice release. Arms fully extended. 
no space in between the armpit and the body and the arm. That means she's really well connected. Club right in front of her chest. So doing this very well. I like the ratio of how the hands and the club are working where it's not flipping too hard. Her glove hand showing uh, the proper amount there. So her transition into the ball and the way she's releasing and getting on top of it is really, really good. And her finish, that's one thing she does extremely well is she never, uh, you know, kind of gets interrupted with her body rotation. And she just really on top of this foot hardly any weight on the back and i'm sure if we went all the way through there'd probably be none but yeah her body rotation's really good here we'll just kind of watch her come down this way with the driver again good core rotation staying on this rear line pretty well footwork looks pretty good um you know, this relationship, right, that we see from all good players where the right elbow's into the hip and the left arm straight out in front of it. Club's really releasing down the line. And if you watch her arms here, again, a good free release where nothing's getting, uh, nothing's getting interrupted. Pretty good shaft angle at that moment. And looks like the club, club's maybe getting uh, released a little bit uh, past the shaft angle, but... Yeah, all in all, I really like her swing, and like I said, I am a, I am a fan of her, and I hope she keeps continuing doing well on the tour, and I really enjoy watching her play. And yeah, there comes that big finish where the chest is actually even pointing over towards this direction, more past the, uh, just at the fairway where, you know, we, most people just hope to get there, so yeah, she's really flexible up top, so just wanted to go over some things that she's doing, and uh, yeah, you all have a good day now, thank you.